Hello again, uh, new test today. Akasom 17RX60X versus Airbody AB8685V. This is the patch version. So I had to do the, how can I say, the, the support by myself. It's tailored with uh, the right connectors for uh, being straight tied to the minor and here I have another original air body 868 okay we'll try this one too and here I have another air body a patch but this one is for another frequency so this one was modified with a soul filter in front let's see about the noise obviously I'm not in the attic anymore but I still have an antenna in the window right there so we can have a rx a reception test too the radio is hooked on exactly like i used in the attic we have a maximum 49.6 db amplification and a row here and we can see we have the same noise floor 79 0.5 was it in the attic now we have 80.1 okay let's remember that we'll write it down yes thank you by the way kwitz km601 a very nice multimeter it's a need you can purchase one of that with a discount from the link in the description so we're gonna have a number of tests with uh, in the air input with a dummy load and of course with the antenna and let's have the Akasom hook on the radio. Okay, so radio is on. All we have to do now is to plug in the power supply. And there we go. 75.1. So we have from 79.7 up to 75.1. It's like 4.6 dB noise. Now dummy load this is a 50 ohms terminator or load and we have 73.5 dummy air okay and the next one is with antenna on and we should see some plant activity even with antenna in my office near the window inside and with antenna we have around minus 67.7 i can say it's pretty it's pretty okay somebody suggests an attenuator okay i think this is a really stupid idea to have an input attenuator when we are fighting for the best signal gain okay so we have a minus 9.8 attenuator and you can see very clear this is antenna with the attenuator we have minus 72.5 but obviously the traffic is not the same anymore this is understandable it's almost a 10 db attenuation here but we'll do all the scenarios and now let's have a 2.2 db so filter with the filter 69.4 with filter on antenna as we can expect with the antenna only it was 76.7 with the filter on we have 69.4 69.4 and antenna only again 67 67.7 yeah exactly the same a little bit higher so uh, 69.4 went down the noise went down a little bit but of course it's another traffic okay that was akasom now let's test uh, an akasom 10 rx 0 tx that's for having a really nice compare dummy load 9.8 db attenuator power supply 
Okay, so we have the noise floor. It's almost the same. Noise floor at 79.9. Okay, let's plug in the amplifier and power on in the air. First test. One in the air we have minus 77.8. Next test is dummy load and we have 76. Point eight, something like this. Three, it's the antenna on. Antenna on with 71.1. One. And of course we have activity on the screen. Look there. It's pretty okay. This is a 10 dB version of Akasom. Pretty okay. Let's do a really fast compare here. So you saw the screen before. Antenna straight to the radio. Yeah, there is some activity, but of course you can see that. Okay, amplifier on. It should be a difference, of course. There we go. Not too much, in fact. The next one is a 10 waiter. That's kind of stupid. And the noise floor, it's like, okay, 76.1. And finally, filter on 2.2 dB minus 2.2 dB filter. And now we have minus 73.4. Now, oh, 0.2 even. Out with this guy. Okay, let me have one of the ABs, the patch version. You know what means a patch. A patch is, is just the amplifier. Let me see if I have some here. This is an AB amplifier patch. It's only the electronics, so it doesn't have the uh, connectors and other stuff. And then you have this green PCB here, which is the support for the patch. I mean, a patch, it's perfectly functional. The base here, this one where it's writing air body, it's just a support for the patch. So technically and functionally, it's absolutely the same. And this one I built by order with, um, with a power supply included. And this is very simple uh, phone charger power supply. Okay, let's see, noise floor. Minus 80, minus 79. Okay, minus 80. And power on. And look there, people. Okay, test one in the air. Nothing connected, okay? Noise lower, 79.9. Around. Once again, power on, no input. And we have power there. And the result in the air, as the result here, 78.1 1.7 db noise five times least four times least than akasom okay next test dummy load dummy load on and we have minus 73 db it's almost the same we had 73.5 with akasom okay dummy load What's next? Antenna on. Okay, let's have the antenna on and let's see the traffic. Yeah. We can see some activity there. And the noise floor is 66.2. The Akasom had 67.7. .7. Okay. Yeah, some activity. I think it was better with Akasom. But... Uh, I believe this one, it's only receiving noise minus, okay, under 2 dB, nice. Receiving gain, 11 dB. Let's not forget that, that Akasom in this situation, it's 17 dB. So this is only 11 dB. AB, it's around 11 dB, which is a little bit better than 17. You know, 17 is too high. The next test is attenuation and of course antenna 2 and we have minus 
72.7 dB. And the last one, it's the saw filter on. AB doesn't have a saw filter, but it have a kind of bandpass filter. Pretty okay, but not so good as a saw filter. And there we are people with the saw filter on. We have minus 70 dB. Okay, so this is AB patch. Now let's have an AB air body, the original support PCB. All I can say that it should behave exactly the same because this is the same uh, amplifier in fact. And I have to use a 5 volts improvisation is the mother of creation. Like I said so many times. I don't have a proper connector here. The reference number, noise floor, 80 dB. Power it's on and we have test one in the air. 78.1, exactly the same. One 0 0.1 dB difference. Next, dummy load. Dummy, where are you dummy? Plug in the dummy, 74.1, sorry. Number three, antenna on. We should see some traffic and there we have. Let's not forget again, this is a 11 dB amplification. The number here is 67.4. We had 66.2 with the other guy, almost the same. Attenuator on and antenna of course, minus 73.1 with the antenna 73.1. 72.7 with the other guy. Yeah, it's in the same league. Oh, huge data transfer there. All right, and the last one, saw filter. Saw filter on with the antenna, of course. And we have like minus 71.3. Okay, so this is original. Uh, with the original PCB support board, let's call it. Okay, very clear. And now let me have an AB. And this is a modified AB, initially for another frequency. I think it was 510. And I use this for experiments. And this one have a saw filter already at the input. Okay, noise floor. Oh yes, and uh, of course doesn't have the band filter anymore. So now it's working with 868 megahertz, of course. It's one of my experiments, like I said. So we are starting with the same noise floor, 78, 79, 79.80, okay, 80. let's call it 80. Power on and we have in the air minus 74.3. But with this one I have a huge amplification, it's, uh, let's maybe around 17 dB like uh, with the other like I almost like Akasom let me see Akasom in the air 75.1 this is 74.3 obviously Akasom is better here but we'll see when we hook up the antenna dummy load to dummy we have minus 74.8 hmm funny but you know why because we already have the soul filter in there so I think this is not obviously this is not conclusive anymore and let me have only the antenna because it's no use to have another soul filter there and let me see number three Eric's antenna only with 76, stay there, Six, oh, 
67.1 or 2. With antenna 67. All right. 71 with the soul filter 70. 69.2, 67.2. So far, this modified AB, uh, it's it's the most noisiest one. Yeah, we can see some activity, but I think Akasom it's better at this level. Okay, let's plug in again the Akasom for Eric's only and antenna on no filters no dummy nothing just the amplifier and then we'll do the power supply trick antenna on let's check the screen minus 67.1 antenna on 67.7 oh yeah 6 67.1 I'm sorry I think I did a mistake here all right and this is 17 RX amplification obviously obviously it's okay I mean it's working somehow we can see that clear but you know something let me hook the antenna directly to the radio let's see that exactly I have all kind of crazy adapters only antenna straight to the radio there we go do we see any traffic yeah kind of obviously with amplifier it's much better of course it is okay so that's it for today we have this compare uh, i'm gonna have all these numbers uh, on a piece of paper i mean on a document of course not paper anymore and uh, in the next episode I will supply direct here a uh, 5 volts from a power supply and also from a lithium battery as quiet as possible. Let's see if, if the noise is improved or the signal or the gain or anything else. I hope it's useful and uh, of course don't forget like, uh, subscribe and uh, of course have fun. Bye bye.